I am good. How are you? Fine, thanks. What does NASCAR mean to you? Well, NASCAR means a lot. Um, my family moved from Texas uh, to North Carolina to race in NASCAR when I was 15 years old. Wow. Uh, for my brother and my family and myself, um, you know, racing, we've always been racing and we've always raced NASCAR. So to say that it's put food on our, on our table is an understatement. It has been our life. Okay. That's wonderful. <laughs> wonderful life, maybe. <laughs> wonderful life, yes. You raced NASCAR for many years, and now you are in a new adventure here in Europe. Uh, what uh, are your best memories in NASCAR? I'd say some of my best memories in NASCAR are, uh, or one especially, is when uh, in 1996, when I won the race in Atlanta and my brother won the championship in the same race. Wow. So the picture that I have, me winning the race, my brother win the championship, and my parents with us. Because for them, they devoted their whole life to our racing. And for them to have their two sons in victory lane the same day was very satisfying. Yeah. And then winning my first uh, Winston Cup race is probably next on the list because you win your first race in the biggest race of the year, and uh, you win by a big margin, that just, it doesn't get any better than that. Yes. So those are two great memories I have uh, in NASCAR. There, and there is many, but that's the best ones. I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How is the feeling of being a NASCAR champion? And how does it change your life, uh, winning the cup title in 2000? Well, um, <clears throat> yeah, winning, winning the championship, or leading up to the championship was amazing. After winning the championship, it's like people recognize you yes. for what your accomplishments are and what you've done. Um, but it's funny because the year that I won, I was so uptight getting to that point, and I didn't tell anybody. I was always, I faked it. When it was over, it was such a relief. But the part that I remember the most is the journey that we took to get there to win the championship. Uh, and then afterwards, just like I said before, it's just that. It's amazing that the recognition you get from then on about being a cup champion, you know that um, people are really paying attention and watching. You'll, they'll never take that away and you'll always have that. And it's a great feeling and it's, it's, it's amazing to see people and meet people that remember that and, and were fans uh, of me at that time. So it's a great feeling and it changed my life for the better. What is your thought of uh, having a NASCAR series in Europe uh, and how is the feeling of being the first NASCAR champion racing full-time in Europe in the series? To me it's exciting. It was an opportunity for me at the right time after racing for so many years in the U.S. and then more or less ending that career uh, but still want to race, still um, able to race and, and have the opportunity to come uh, overseas and do it as still NASCAR. Yes. Still all the same people per se that I know on the, uh, in the US that helped for the NASCAR Euro Series. So it's, uh, it was a great opportunity because also I, I watched and paid attention for a few years and saw the, the series getting more competitive, more competitive, bigger and bigger growing. And uh, to me, what I like about it is the, uh, the way that it's done with the, the say the grid walk and say the, uh, the way that the fans can interact with the drivers and for me it's a lot less stressful because in the States it's like you're, you're so much on go all the time so to me it was a, a good time to come over and, and be a part of it. You are both an analyst for NASCAR race day on Fox Sport and a race car driver in the NASCAR Wheeling Euro Series. How is the feeling of being on both sides of the barricade? <laughs> It's a little harder to be an analyst and watching drivers and talking about them than it is to drive. So I've had to learn a lot and I've had a lot of good people give me a lot of good advice. So I've been doing it for about two or three years now and I, um, I've, I'm really comfortable with talking about uh, what I see, what happens on the racetrack. You know, I try not to be um, in the middle too much. I want to be, you know, positive on something that's positive and if I see something I don't think is right, I will talk about it. But it's uh, definitely a different for me because I would have thought that's something I would have never have wanted to do, but uh, but I also see from that side 
uh, how important it is to help on the TV part to help promote our racing and, and promote uh, people and what um, stories are in, in the sport itself. Women in Wheels is one uh, segment that they have at the Fox Studio talking about women in the sport of NASCAR. Drivers, mechanics, engineers. It's really good to see that because when I was driving I really never paid that much attention to it. But it's exciting to see and I definitely enjoy it and I hope to get to do more of it because it's something I want to do and when you have a passion for the sport you want to talk about it as much as you can. It seems that NASCAR is in the blood of your family. Your brother Terry wants two championship in the cup and your nephew, Justin, won the race in Xfinity. Yes, D definitely in our blood. My dad was racing at the age of 16, 17, 18 years old, and he started to work on cars and didn't drive. Fast forward to when my brother and I were born, we seemed like we were born to be at a racetrack. And then uh, when Terry's son, uh, Justin was born. He was in racing as well and raced for many years and won an Xfinity race in Chicago. Terry won two championships. My dad was a mechanic for me, a uh, mechanic for him, a mechanic for Justin. It's definitely in our, in our bloodline and again my, we followed a dream and the dream was to race in NASCAR and to win. And so for Terry to win two championships, I've won a championship. We've won Xfinity championships, so, so it's been very good and very blessed that my dad started all that. Okay. And uh, so he's been able to touch all of our racing careers yes. in our lives. This is a good feeling, I think, for all the family. Yes, good feeling, for sure. <laughs> and we never, uh, we never crashed each other, so that was really good. This is very good. <laughs> would be a problem, maybe, at, coming back at, at home. At Christmas, it would be bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What advice did you give to your nephew Justin when he begins racing and what advice you would give to young American drivers beginning a career in NASCAR? So for, for Justin it was easy because between Terry and I, he was kind of had it figured out and, and, yeah. and uh, his grandpa, my, our parents, my dad. But Justin worked on his race cars and, and, and raced them and that's what I would tell anybody else that it comes to me and I have a lot of people with uh, kids that are 15 or 16 that wants to race and so I immediately say well you find out what you want to do if it's go-karts if it's you know wh wherever you're at you kind of find the easiest thing to do you go to the local track you go to somewhere and you race in a series and you you do the best you can and be as, as um, devoted to win and if you can win there then you go to the next series but you know and, and one thing that I always the how I grew up was I was taught how to work on my race car and I know what my race car is and I know about it. The advice I got from my brother to backtrack is yes. you go to one place and you win and if you can't win you don't need to go somewhere else you need to win and then if you can win then you can go somewhere else and that's that kind of helped me because if you've never won before you don't know how to be a winner. Advice to somebody else is find something whatever it is local whatever it might be but win in it. If you can't win in that, maybe you don't need to do this. But if you can win, then you move up and up and up from there. So begin knowing the feeling. Yes, you have to know that. And you have to know, I think, what your race car is because you gotta be able to communicate that and, yes. and drive and be part of the team and not just drive and not, not know anything about your race car. So you must be able to tell the team what's happening in your car mm -hmm. and knowing all the pieces of the car. Yeah, don't know have, you don't have to be an expert at it, but you just have to have a general knowledge of yes. what things do and how it works. If you can relate that back sometimes, it's easier for the team to know because yes. they might not know how to drive, but they know yes. how to work on the car. So you, if you know a little bit about it, then, then that helps the team help you. Yes. So that's good. <laughs> It's a team job. It's very team much work. a team. Very much team. There's no I in team. It's yeah. very much teamwork. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks to you.